G'day folks and welcome back to Vex Basics. Today's tip is really important, especially if you're growing broccoli or cauliflower. Now if you're growing broccoli and cauliflower, there's a particular bug that, can, that attacks most uh, brassicas, cabbages, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, all of those brassicas. Uh, but if you get it in the heads of your broccoli and cauliflower, you can actually decimate your whole crop and you'll end up feeding, feeding it to the chickens or just throwing it out. So I want to show you what to look out for and how to, how to prevent it uh, as well as get rid of it if you see it. So these are my uh, Brussels sprout plants and I'm going to show you something that's under the leaves that attacks the Brussels sprouts but it's also rampant uh, and can be rampant in broccoli uh, and cauliflower as well. So if we just have a look under the leaf here, if you can see there, little grey insecty pest things. Now they are cabbage aphids. Uh, even though there's only a few here, they can very quickly uh, multiply and you'll end up with them all over the place. I think there's a few under this leaf as well here. Yep, a few there as well. So I'll be treating these later on today. But as you can see, they sort of, they uh, come up and they're in little clumps and they lay their eggs and they, they can um, uh, multiply very quickly. Now let's go and have a look at the broccoli. So here we have our broccoli just starting, if I can get in there and show you, just starting to form little heads. Now if those little grey aphids that I just showed you on the Brussels sprouts, if they get into this broccoli head uh, or any of my other broccoli heads, it's very very difficult to get rid of it. Uh, and you really can't eat the broccoli because you, you end up with aphids right throughout the actual head and they won't even wash out when you're trying to trying to cook it or, or eat it, prepare it for eating. So it's important to be really vigilant with your broccoli and cauliflower and rather than just, well this is what I do, rather than just looking for it and treating those aphids when you see them, on broccoli in particular, um, I actually do a preventative thing and every day uh, or every second day I come out here and I spray the broccoli plants and the broccoli heads with just some warm soapy water, um, just some you know organic uh, detergent. I put in some warm soapy water. I'll put a link here for the video on natural pest control. But I do it as a preventative measure, measure rather than a uh, measure to actually get rid of a pest that I might find. So it's really important to do that with your broccoli and cauliflower because once you get the, the aphids in there, it's very difficult to get rid of them. Um, and once they're in the heads, you know, it's really the end of your crop. So just a little tip there, do some preventative stuff with your broccoli and cauliflower rather than just treating pests and diseases as you see them. Um, check out the video on how to uh, how to make that soapy water mix. Um, just come out, spray it, spray them every day or every second day, just to make sure that you're getting rid of any um, pests that you, that might be forming that you actually can't see, and you should have a uh, nice successful crop of broccoli or cauliflower. Thanks for joining us on Bex Basics. We'll see you next time.